ran into a young writer, and uh, she asked me about character development. So <clears throat> I described to her there's two really two different types of character development, broadly speaking. One is shallow development. One is deep development. So shallow development is when you purposely don't develop a character. You give just enough background information um, to be able to convey who they are quickly, and then you, um, you use that character. So those characters that are shallow or cardboard characters are used as a tool. Um, you use it to, to help advance the plot forward, but you don't want to make them too thick or too complex because you don't want their, um, their characters getting in the way of the story. So then you have your regular characters, and uh, it's interesting because you always want to have a backstory. Now, as a screenwriter, I, I like to use some of the skills I use as a screenwriter as a novelist, and basically you have to imply your background. Now, in a novel, you can tell a lot about their background. Um, I like to remove some information and let readers really kind of infer a lot of the things that I want them. It, it gives them kind of a, a job and uh, gets them some skin in the game as they're um, reading, trying to figure out this character that they, they like. But um, really, you want to make characters like real people. You don't want to think of them as characters. You want to think of them as people. So when you're done with the book, uh, that you, you miss them. Um, when they die or they're killed, you know, you want to either cheer because you really hated that character or you want to, um, uh, you know, if they, if they get hurt, you want to feel really sad and, um, be pissed off at the offer for killing off your, you know, your favorite character. So these are the ways you want to feel about characters and you need to develop them. And you can't do it all at once. A lot of authors will throw everything down on an expository way right off the bat and, you know, kind of like a, a big dump of information. I just don't think that's the way to do it. I think, you know, you allow them to develop slowly and you grow as a reader as that character's growing, and then you have an attachment to them, and you'll have more attachments to different characters. But uh, broadly, at least, that's what I would say, um, you know, the kind of the, some of the logos I have when I'm developing a character.